is a video. I'm going to place this on YouTube for my brother Douglas Boyce. Um, yeah, so here it goes. Okay, 72 uh, Volkswagen Westphalia. It's got uh, 1700 cc uh, dual Solax carburetors. I'll show you that right now. Crank the engine compartment here. I don't know if you can see much in there or not, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's your standard Walmart battery there. Uh, 1700cc dual Solex carbs. Uh, gas heater here in the corner. You see the white thing on the end there. And yeah, that's it. I'll uh, open it up here. Side door. a little bit dark in there but uh, yeah that's pretty much it to open the back and I have a bit more light in there it's the old back area here um, 72 is the only year unfortunately that does not have a cover for the engine compartment everything you got to do to work on the engine is from the hatch down here, unfortunately. And you got your spare tire. You got your cabinet here with all your uh, whatever you want to do. Put your stuff in there. Um, Stays blasted these curtains together, as you can see. They're not too bad. A little bit darker than the other ones, but they're pretty good. Uh, 16 bucks for. Uh, material at uh, fabric land and probably a couple hours to sew them all up so yeah okay you got your uh, this bed here in front folds down this couch thing folds down to a bed um, storage under there you got your storage here there's a door is actually missing for this I have one that's I think in the mail right now couple minor details to fix up here. This table folds down down to the floor when the bed rolls out. You got uh, your power down there that you can plug into wherever you feel like plugging in the house or whenever you're camping or something. You got storage under this chair and here you got your uh, sink top, your standard, uh, standard pump deal. Crank that up, get some water happening. Uh, countertop type space, sink, fold up shelf here, up and down, oops, storage stuff under there, my favorite uh, mat here, doormat, see it's a fisherman in a canoe, reeling one in with his net, okay, let's move on. <laughs> Kind of folds down like that. And you got your uh, standard V-dub ice box. Extra uh, space here for whatever utensil type stuff. Yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah, actually, seat covers are not too bad considering the year. That one there is uh, kind of wanky, so I just threw a t-shirt over it. The uh, top pops up for, uh, there's a single cut on this left side here for, uh, it's, well it could fit an adult I guess if you want. It's kind of narrow but it, it would work. And these little deals over here, as you can see there's four of them, one on each side over there and over here and beside me over here for a child's cot that goes across the front here. It's, I guess, probably five feet long. And, uh, yeah, as far as what I've done so far is uh, I put new uh, birchwood on the ceiling here. Ten bucks a sheet at Rona. That's a couple sheets. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the body goes, you got your standard uh, little bit of VW rust, typical spots. 
Uh, I did have a spare tire rack on the front with the spare tire. I yanked that off and uh, filled that in. And uh, actually, just going to get a V dub and emblem on there. The other side. These side windows here crank open for ventilation. You got your standard uh, V dub front vents in here, both sides. And yeah, freaking wasp nest here that I kind of dismantled this morning, and the wasp is still flying around, trying to freaking attack me. Okay, I'm just gonna hop in the side here, and we'll fire it up for a sec. Your typical four-speed V-dub engine uh, reverse is uh, push in and inside left. Wear it up here. Seems to run pretty good. It's got a little bit of popping on uh, the acceleration. Um, a little bit more tweaking with the carburetors, I guess, would probably fix that. But yeah, standard V dub stuff here. here. Here's around the back side. Off the cover here. I actually painted the bumpers. They're kind of a little bit dense and stuff, but that's okay. Looks better anyway compared to the rest. The yeah, motor seems to run pretty good. I had to reset the timing. Number one and two plug wire were backwards and some of it tried to set the timing that way. But it seems to run pretty good now. You see a little bit of popping here and there, but yeah. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. Later, Gator.